Someone in the audience is shouting out. We've got a lady here who wants to talk about poverty. Yeah, I mean, I've lived in this area for 30 years now. I grew up in Derbyshire. And, you know, I've got a friend that runs a local pub in Selston, the railway in, and they're certainly not seeing poverty. If There's a difference between being poor and not having money. You can be poor and still go out and enjoy yourself. The real people at the bottom end of the line that are suffering from poverty aren't coming to venues like this or going to the local chippy. I mean, Lee will know our local chippy is packed. Every Friday night, they're queuing down the streets. That's not poverty. So when people talk about poverty, they need to think about, well, do I need that or do I want that? There's a difference. She's exactly right, though, there because we talk about poverty, but the takeaway is the chip shops, the McDonald's, the KFCs, they're... they're well, it's because they're, they're cheaper alternatives. Well, they're not cheap. They're all McDonald's, you can get, you can, uh, McDonald's, you can get a full meal for three ninety nine. But, but they're That's objectively a cheaper alternative. Well, let's talk about uh, food poverty. Let's talk sure. about obesity. We sure. talk well, about the, the junk food that's readily available now, the fast food places. We're saying... We, 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 we're telling people that half the country's in poverty, our kids are starving, Yet in the next breath, the same people are saying that we've got an obesity crisis. And we have got an obesity crisis. How does that work, Edwina? You're a former health minister. How does it work? It works from people eating too much. It's as simple as yeah. that. Um, and I can say that with a bit of a, a smile, because I'm the only one at this table that's got a diet drink on it. And that's because yesterday I went to the slimming club, and by God, it's still with me. I've got to be careful. Oh, my God. Um, it, it matters. I mean, as a former health minister, we used to campaign on all this stuff. I wish health ministers did it rather, did that rather more, yeah. that they would say to people, live your life to the full, enjoy yourself. But if you're going to eat a lot, you've got to walk a lot, you've got to exercise, you've got to get out, you, yeah. that's what you teach your kids, uh, eat some fruit, get some vegetables, all that sort of thing. Yeah. Live a balanced life yeah. and you will live so, a healthy Matthew, life. So, I'm going to come to you. I'm not having this nonsense about junk food is, is cheaper than, than fresh food because it's not. We proved that in a, an experiment a couple of years back by getting fresh ingredients with the chef and with children in the food bank. We were, we were making meals. We, I've got the tab 30p Lee, but we made 172 meals for 50 quid. Yeah, I mean, obviously that was a very controversial intervention, but you're right. I mean, um, one of the things that we don't do in schools now is we don't teach people how to cook. Um, it's, it's a subject that's fallen off the uh, the end of the uh, of the school curriculum, uh, and it shouldn't have done have done so, because it is obviously cheaper to make your own meals than go to McDonald's um, uh, or, or to the chippy, but that's not to say that people shouldn't be able to yeah. go to McDonald's now and then, even if they're not very well off because kids need to, you know, experience what other kids are experiencing. But yeah, I mean, it's, look, it's a mixture of taking responsibility for yourself um, and the government taking action. I mean, you need both. It's not an, not an and or situation.